what did you understand from non disclosure of just a simple like what is the purpose basically of i you can say like in one word one statement one line why do people enter into non disclosure of that or like what is the purpose of this of confidential information to be protected to maintain data confidentiality correct right confidential basically i want to protect my confidential information all right i'm giving you some very very high level information out here all right and i want to basically maintain absolute secrecy to this information that is being shared okay no third party will be privy to this information absolutely until and unless i have consented something you really need to understand here is that we it a non disclosure agreement or an independent confident hi just be good evening so be it a entire non disclosure agreement in itself or just a stand alone confidentiality clause in an like as a part of an entire agreement irrespective of anything this is enforceable so the confidentiality clause or your non disclosure agreement whatever it is whatever however you want to draft this however you want to name this it doesn't really matter the concept of confidentiality and the enforceability of your confidentiality clause it is very very important so when, I, when why i want to stress on this is because what happens is generally after a point when you draft a lot of agreements you will see that this confidentiality clause repeats a lot and almost in every agreement you will see there is a confidentiality clause so there is this tendency in practice for people to you know understand this as a basically a boilerplate clause and not at all delve into thinking the, about the consequences what am i supposed to capture in it should i basically specifically draw out a very good definition of confidential information people just stop considering all these things at the end of the day as a result what you do is there are 10 agreements tomorrow that you are drafting for 10 different clients you just go and copy paste this entire pre drafted clause without thinking about the consequences so tomorrow there is not a proper confidential information defined it is not called out it is not spelled out properly in the clause that you have drafted or the agreement that you have drafted okay the obligations are not specific to your client what happens is at the end of the day in case of a dispute your client is going to land up in a huge legal trouble so please understand the importance of this agreement okay importance of this clause independently as well before you just start you know delving into what it is and how should i draft it just understand that this is very important independently enforceable irrespective of the other clauses in the agreement whether they are enforceable or not what happens to them what is the title of your agreement nothing matters here as long as you have a confidentiality clause or a separate non disclosure agreement it is just going to be enforceable as it is okay so please understand the importance before you start delving it into drafting aspects and theoretical aspects that's the main concern so in every agreement we have to mention that this clause will be a survival clause i'll come to that first so survival clause here why confidential information is put as a survival clause or within the ambit of a survival clause very simple i have shared certain information with you think it from completely like a com- like commercial perspective okay tomorrow you i have employed you there are certain aspects of my business which are absolutely confidential to me right and i have shared this with you once either i terminate you suppose or you leave the job at the end of the day you are still privy to this information that i have shared with you So generally, what happens is whenever suppose my business processes, how I conduct my business, how I do my marketing, suppose how I fetch clients. Okay, these are kind of very confidential processes. Let's say you are a part of this process and you know how it is done. So once this employee suppose to leave, okay, I know that okay, fine, this employee has left. I at least have six months to a year. to kind of tweak my processes change something so that tomorrow immediately when you go to my competitor immediately you can't just go and blurt out everything that you know about my process okay so the commercial perspective here is to buy some time on a fixed week okay 
before stay forever i cannot bind the person so there is this very common question that comes here also can i make this clause survive can i survive make the confidential information survive forever in practice no okay theory maybe no such bar in law okay i can very well draft a clause that means it till you die you are going to carry my information to the grave i can do that in story in practice honestly let never more than 5 years maximum tenure that confidential clauses survived is maximum 5 years in practice okay so in theory you can do a lot of things but you have to obviously think it from very practical perspective like what i can do what i cannot do okay so that's there so yes survival is essentially one of the features of confidentiality clause or confidential information clause okay so yes you generally make it survive but keep it up to a maximum limit of 5 years not more than that. okay rashmi got it clear rashmi no non compete clause is different non compete non solicit confidentiality clause these are absolutely different we are completely focusing right now on confidentiality clause or non disclosure agreement to be specific got it rashmi non compete non solicit and confidentiality employment example no 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 exam employment agreement will have a non compete a non solicit clause and a confidentiality clause separately these are all separate spelled out clauses nothing is same about that non compete clauses where i will restrain you from going and working with a direct competitor of mine maybe up for 6 months beyond the termination of my agreement all right non solicit is where i will basically restrict you from taking away or poaching away or soliciting work to my existing employees when you are leaving the organization okay and non confidentiality clauses where i am restricting you from sharing the confidential information that i have shared with you with any xyz third party that's it this is the difference okay all of these are survival it comes within the ambit of survival clauses but the context and the purpose of every clause is different all right pooja which one do you want me to repeat please tell me quickly last point as in the survival point pooja I can't see your message, Pooja. Please let me know what you want me to repeat, or I'll wait till the end of the session. I'll repeat it, whatever you want. Arya Simhan, confidential information can be copied from another form of NDA. Arya Simhan, my explanation of entire till so far was exactly the opposite. Don't copy it. <laughs> Basically, that's what I wanted to say. Okay? Don't treat it as a boilerplate clause. understand the basically the client to client requirement and it defining specifically calling out you know what is the confidential information what uh, obligations your client is going wanting here okay basically be very specific from client to client i'm asking you exactly the opposite don't copy um pooja um, what are you asking jazib destroying confidential information generally see nowadays that they include like all kind of whatever be the so after a point of time if you have it like say in hard disk format you're going to destroy the hard disk you're going to delete the files so all of these are standard methodologies that are basically incorporated in the clause but honestly i don't see much practical use because i don't know like if i make suppose 10 copies of the same if somebody actually want to you know understand whether i'm actually deleting everything or not but yeah this is it. at the end of the day the fact that i want to i will destroy as a part of the obligations it is actually captured okay so yeah okay so you haven't so nobody has caught your caller and say ask you on that right so very very i find it very like i don't know this particular obligation i find very weird to be very honest i don't know how the practical uh implementation of it is done because i can make like hundreds of hundred of copies and i go destroy 99 of them in front of your eyes i can still have a copy with my own cell nobody is going to know all right so yeah i mean at the end of the day that's it but yeah a point is actually captured in the clause about that the fact that i will go and destroy whatever copies and anything that i have related to it so now i'll come to the unilateral and by 
okay so pooja i still didn't understand the question if we have to nda and confidentiality i'll come to this i'll come to this question don't worry it's a very uh, again a very common question nothing to like basically ponder upon much but then it very quickly confuses a person okay now there are two very interesting aspects about nda that i want to discuss okay i want to see first of all if you know the answer someone from the experience of it give me the answer when i just mentioned here right about the confidentiality clause as a part of a larger agreement and when we are talking about uh you know uh, uh like a separate nd right keep just a common sense question this is yes yes we need i'll show you red line you no know, ones i'll show you i'll show you i have it on my desk no one anyway so um say there's a confidentiality clause right okay and there's a separate non disclosure agreement i mean what's the difference basically what is exactly the difference here like why do you need a separate non disclosure agreement if at the end of the day you know it is going to be a part of a larger agreement i mean the confidentiality clause and nda is kind of one and the like the purpose is kind of one and the same thing and there's no issue with the enforceability of it okay rashmi uh yes one of the reasons is actually this correct but exactly my i will ask you a parallel question to this which also again pops up when i give you this answer no there's a second question that pops up very logically mm, we have to as we might not enter okay metali fine in the process geeta i am asking that basically that say there's a confidentiality clause hai na theek hai which is a part of a larger agreement then why do we need to draw up this separate non disclosure agreement as a whole or as a separate agreement why do we need to do that okay so more or less uh, all of you are maybe somewhere towards the point okay it is non disclosure agreements are essentially pre contractual instruments so somewhere at the stage of negotiation a separate nda is drawn right okay and then when we are basically finalizing upon what kind of agreement are we going to enter at the end of the day at that point of time the exact contents of a non disclosure agreement is captured in the confidentiality clause of the larger agreement okay fine not a problem with this answer now my point is when at the stage of negotiation we are at the stage of negotiation and right? like we are just bargaining okay so we just saying it like that what is negotiation is just somewhere we are bargaining now at this stage what is my incentive to sign the nda with what's the consideration of that at this stage what am i going to get okay i have to have something out of it right like why would i agree to sign this non disclosure agreement with you? what exactly should be the consideration or incentive okay just the and frame this a little better the answer is kind of correct but dipesh i agree to you yes frame it frame it just the frame it i just want one extra word before this. that's it nafia again reframe the answer that you're giving you're giving me answers but there's like certain particular words that you need to use uh geeta Okay, I I I understand what you're saying, Gita. But tell me, why should I do that? I want to understand the reason. Anjali, my question is that: say, when at the negotiation stage I'm entering into a non-disclosure agreement, now, why should I do it? Like, what's the consideration at this stage? What's the incentive? What's what what am I getting by signing this? I'm why should I agree to not disclose your information at a stage where I have nothing basically, you know? Either monopoly is a different concept. No, you can't say company monopoly. You cannot. You cannot. Uh, no, monopoly doesn't come into picture. Here. Rashmi, correct. Correct. Okay. Let's understand. So these are two questions, guys. Believe me. Tomorrow, if you are like actually telling people that you have. the concept of non disclosure agreement and you are actually going to interview with some good company and all the 
these are questions which actually will i am sure will come okay so please remember the answer so that you are not thrown off because i i actually was thrown off by these two questions that's why i always take it upon myself that i take these two questions okay all right so first of all non disclosure agreement understand it here there are two things to basically consider generally non disclosure agreement it is signed and executed as a separate agreement in very specific industries okay it's not a practice okay it's not a practice it's not like every agreement that you are going to have in future there is a mandatory practice that you have to basically have an nda in case and only then you can go forward no remember when there was this covid situation and we were like lot of like people were like we were just like vaccine ka baiga when is it going to come when is the vaccine going to come okay so basically pharmaceutical industry has this practice where you know this phase 1 trial phase 2 trial phase 3 trial trial somewhere a part of the trials is human trials okay just understand it from the perspective of this particular industry okay today you are a subject of this human trial right you are a privy to very specific sensitive knowledge as to what is going to be the side effects of this vaccine even before like the, anybody in the world knows okay at this stage all you are going to get is to sign a non disclosure agreement probably certain consideration from that okay and that's it over there's no future contract no agreement nothing pharma industry is a very specific industry which has a practice of signing a separate nda why very simple reason there is no other agreements in future so that's it this is it done and that's it okay why that is where you need to uh, basically understand that this is a industry specific thing okay second now i come to the second scenario where i am going to follow it up with a future basically you know yes rashmi correct any research development industry all uh, r and d any r and d industry like pharma typical basically all of this this is a industry specific practice okay because this is the last thing last stage nothing we are not going to proceed from the nda out there. after this comes a very very important uh, scenario here that i sign the nda at the negotiation stage after this i'm going to follow it up with say xyz employment agreement and joint venture agreement anything any master agreement okay so what at this stage why am i going to sign the nda in basically so consideration basically when i try to talk about consideration or understand consideration okay it means uh to a very layman person no we just kind of consider that consideration is going to have certain financial aspect or monetary aspect and that's it no consideration can have read contract that read the definition of consideration very basic concepts here okay consideration can be in the form of even kind or anything okay so it can take lot of forms the very fact that there is a future promise or a prospect to enter into certain kind of an agreement where you will have a consideration in financial form or any other benefit that itself is a consideration out here secondly just be what i wanted is you to tell me that the information that is being shared here it has to be some information which is of value itself to me the information itself is valuable theek hai my name is swati lekha chakraborty boss nothing not no value theek hai everywhere go google like kahi se bhi you can get to know my name something related to me which is going to give you a leverage okay something that is not available in the public domain something you come to know about me because of which you are itself you can use this information as a piece of knowledge and value to you okay that itself serves as a consideration the information is of such a nature that the information itself serves as a consideration out here okay so basically these are the two important aspects very simple questions but if you don't keep these in mind suddenly you know when you are asked in the interview basically somewhere we can just get 20 30 minutes to think we will come to the answer but it really throws you off the like so please these are two very interesting important basic aspects about a non disclosure agreement remember these okay 
and note this down. Now for your exact answer, one is industry specific practice as I told you. Someone asked me to uh, repeat the pharmaceutical industry point. So pharmaceutical industry is what, how it happens is suppose you are a part of a drug trial. Okay. So at the end of the day, all you are going to do is get probably how it wo- it's going to work is tomorrow you are going to get this vaccine. You're, they are going to study what kind of side effects and all is happening on you and that's it. So they will make you sign this NDA, give you certain money probably. Okay. And that's it. This is the last answer. There's no future of agreement going to happen from here and nothing. Okay. So one exact answer is industry specific practice and give it note down the specific industries that they have this practice. And secondly, the fact that information is of value and consideration can have different forms other than pecuniary consideration or just specifically monetary compensation or consideration.